Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to completely back up and restore a uh, your stock ROM, or it's either a custom ROM or stock ROM, doesn't matter how to make an Android backup is what this video is about. So this video is especially for the newbies, I actually made a video quite a long time ago for making a backup of your stock ROM, but it wasn't full. All I just mentioned was how to make a backup and nothing else, but there's more to that. So. Um, if you are planning on testing a ROM or something like that and you do not want to lose your data in style apps and everything, you need to make an Android backup. So the first steps to this are to power off your phone. So power off your Galaxy Y. And for the next step, you're going to need Cocoa Mode Recovery. If you do not have it, you can find a download link for it in the, in the link in the video description. So okay, completely power off your phone like this. Want to hear the little vibrating uh, sound? It means it's completely off. So the next thing which we're going to do is we are going to boot into recovery mode. So hold the home button, the power button, and the volume up together. So if you're on a custom kernel, you might have already uh, Cocoa Mode Recovery installed. If you are not, you need to flash it. So, download the Cocoa Mode Recovery zip file, like I said, if you do not have it. Choose a player date from SD card. Go down. And choose the CWM zip file. Now, before everything, make sure that you have uh, quite a lot, a lot of space on your SD card. Approximately at least 500 megabytes. Uh, it, it, it actually depends on what kind of apps you have installed and stuff such as that. So, anyways, make sure you have some some kind of free space. Go to backup and restore. Choose the first option, backup, and you're done. Now it it will start backing up your system, and it should be done in about uh, three, four, or five minutes. Like I said, again, it depends on how many apps you have installed and so on and on. So, be patient, and we'll be back once the backup is complete. So now the backup is complete and there is just one thing we need to do before you are ready to restore this backup at any time and that is we need to modify the MD5 file uh, which contains some text. We need to clear that file so that you won't get any error like MD5 mismatch error and stuff such as that when you try to restore. This is proven to work so what you do after this now is you choose reboot system now, you boot back into your Galaxy Y and you can either modify this file using a app which you have on your phone or you can just use your PC using notepad or something like that to modify the file. So I'll be back once the phone is booted up. Now for this next part, we are going to go to my files and you should see a folder Cocoa Mod inside a folder backup and inside another folder named with the date when you took the backup. So inside we have files compressed files which contain your phone's data from the backup the file which you're going to modify is the nandroid.md5 now like I said you can modify this file from your computer by right clicking and choosing open with then choosing notepad and you need to delete all the contents inside and save the file if you would like to do this from the phone you would need to have some kind of app which supports such modifications for instance file expert which has a text editor or root, root explorer so in this case I'm just going to use root explorer, I'm going to open it, I'm going to head to SD card, Qualcomm mod, backup, date, one long press on Android MD5, choose open with, and I'm going to choose text editor. and Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but these are the contents of the file. Now, I know this may seem that it is needed and required, but uh, you can actually restore your backup without the need of, these, uh, of this content in the file. So delete everything and save the file. There we go. And um, it actually created a backup here, so if your app created one, just delete it, there is really no need for it and okay, we are done after this, 
we just need to boot into Qualcomm Mode Recovery again and choose Restore. Of course, this time in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Like I said, this is for newbies who are wondering how to do this, so this is a step by step tutorial. And now it's time for the restoration part. So, when you've had enough of a custom ROM or anything else, you may go back to Recovery Mode and choose Apply Update from SD card. Again, go to the Google Mode Recovery and you should be keeping your backup i suppose your android backup with the modified md5 file so you're able to restore it and now basically just go to backup and restore again choose restore no need for advanced restore um, unless you have more uh, more concerns about uh, a few other stuff so just choose restore and it will show you the backups made um, my camera probably cannot capture this but it is the date when we took the the backup so yeah just choose this choose yes restore and now be patient for the restoration to be complete it might take as long as it took you to make the backup so wait just a few minutes and it should be done i'll be back once it is done So I was previously with a custom ROM and now the restoration is complete. Now let's have a look if I'm back to my lovely stock ROM. So choose the boot system now and wait for the phone to boot up. And there we go, back to normal. I once again have my stock ROM back, everything seems in place, my old bags are, apps are back and everything else is here. So that was that was all you need to do. This is how you make a backup, how you make it then work uh, to be able to be restored and how you restore it and that is all. Hope, you, hope this video was a help guys, please like it, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you, if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and goodbye.